Yeah, he's got a bruised backside uh, that he sustained in the previous practice. I don't think it'll be long. Um, you know, I thought they did good. I thought Teddy threw some nice balls that I noticed. Drew did too. You know, I, I it takes me time to watch the tape first because, you know, I kind of lean my eyes towards the defense. Yeah, that was good to see. He got some plays. Not a ton, but we need to progress him. So it was good to have him back out there. For the day off, how did um, you guys see on evaluations of quarterbacks with the coaches with the day off? Looking at the first four days. Yeah, still, still even, Steven. There's been no separation. Um, and we're going to kind of keep the rotation these next three days the same as it's been. When you watch Teddy's tape last year, you the willingness and ability to stretch the field? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I remember, you know, we, uh, we played him fairly late in the season. I don't remember what game it was, 12 or so. And, uh, you know, so we saw, I saw all his games up to that point. Yeah, he, he can push the ball. Yeah. It's rare. It, it's rare that you would ask a rookie to do that, number one. And it's rare that he's been able to handle it and do it. Now, he's not perfected any of them yet by any means. But we think he can, and it's not too big for him. Uh, it'll be longer than that. Um, he'll be out at probably, you know, he feels a whole lot better than the uh, medical staff is saying he is. So there's kind of a conflict there. So we'll say, but I would imagine he's uh, at least a 10 day out, you know. We'll find out. It's a great opportunity. Yeah. No. No surgery. Um, just kind of stuck. But I talked to him this morning, and um, he said he's better today, doing better. So I, as soon as he turns the corner, I think we'll be able to get him out there. We talked so much about Sternod maybe having a hybrid role in coverage when he drafted. How is he if he's you know, in there with Alexander as part of run support? What do you see from him? Pads on the mar, baby. <laughs> is that we'll, where it starts for some of these guys? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know that it opens it up, but, um, you know, it just makes it available. And, uh, you know, we played six DBs some last year. A lot of teams do. Um, I think the way offenses are playing nowadays, you know, the way they're lining people up, um, it's good to have that, you know. And uh, when you have good players to do it with, you'll do it more. Yeah, I mean, we did it uh, 100 and some snaps last year. Uh, maybe 200. Just more physical. Coach, who, who specifically are the fatigue police? <laughs> it's just, it's just a joke with uh, that I have with those guys. It's the strength coach, training staff. Um, those are the. Let me see if I'm missing anybody. Am I missing anybody? Not, not, not the players, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you longing? Players are fine. The players will work. You longing for the days of no water breaks? No. I mean, I mean we're doing it because they, they, they suggested it, so we'll do it, you know. But, I mean, there's water available from start to finish. They're not limited to water breaks only during water, you know, water breaks. Austin Ford's dealt with injuries in his first two years. What have you seen uh, from him so far? Yeah, he's doing better. You know, he's been able to sustain his health. You know, he had the bad injury his rookie year. Last year's injury wasn't as bad. Um, you know, probably could have come back from that last year. But, um, you know, he's a good receiver, runs well. A little on the small side, his tight ends go, as you guys know. But um, some of those guys can carve a niche for him. It's going to be important, though, that if he's going to carve a niche, part of it has to be special teams, too. Yeah, we were, um, you know, as you know, uh, Bassey's down, Duke's down. So, um, you know, they count even though they're on PUP. So, uh, you know, we had 11 corners, but really we're working with nine. And as you're playing five and six DBs, which everybody is now, you know, we just needed some more legs. And he's looked, he did fine today. Coach, where are things with uh, Bradley Chubb and where he's at? 
What do I think? No, just, yeah, everything kind of where he is. It's hard to say. You know, today was his first day of action since he um, had the off-season surgery. So go in and look at it. But I, I'm confident that he's going to be fine. It's more of a case of uh, getting in shape and having a logical progression for him. Because, you know, when you have your foot in a boot for however long he did, you can't do any work. As you put pads on for the rest of the week before you head to Minnesota, what, what do you want to learn about this football team or this group collectively? Well, I mean, it was mentioned before, we're looking at uh, – Inside linebackers, see how who can play the run, who actually can block, take it on block. Everything just amps up a little bit. You know, there's always arguments and debates as, you know, did that running play break through or didn't it as you're watching it? Well, I mean, and they'll still break through some because we're not going to tackle, but uh, at least it becomes a little more uh, relevant and a little more realistic. And guys don't have to worry about hitting somebody a little too hard, trying to tempo it down. The pads are on, we're going. We're just not going to tackle. With Cortland, will you, with Cortland, will you try to keep him out of some of that as you gear for the season? Where does it stand with Cortland? No, we're just having a natural progression with him because I mean, we're not going to tackle the wideout. So um, he'll, get, he'll get his normal progression. I mean, it, it won't change a whole lot for the wideouts and some of the DBs. Now, the DBs that support in the run, it will. But as far as in the passing game, it shouldn't change practice a whole, whole lot. I hope so. I hope so. With with Wow. Yeah, Lloyd's definitely improved. Um, had a great off season, both physically and mentally. Got stronger. Studied the game. Had the OTAs, the mini camp. You know, you always look for a big jump from one year one to year two, and um, I think he's in the process of doing that. Okay. Thanks,